Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and welcome back to part two of my Sims 3 Build With Me series. In the first part, we got the shell of the house done. I taught you guys how to attach the garage to the foundation. And I think with this part, I think I want to start with the... I think I want to start putting the, the siding on and the windows and doors, and then we'll call it a day with this part. Like I said in my previous video, I, re I pre-recorded the last part and this part. So if you commented anything on the first video, I'm sorry I, could, I didn't see it in time to record this part. But I should see your comments from now on because I'm just pre-recording this part and the last part. So let's get started on the siding. Actually, I think what I'm going to do first is I want to put the door in and the windows in and whatnot. So, I asked you guys if you wanted me to use just base game stuff or if you wanted me to use base game and expansion packs. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use base game and expansion packs. So, if you don't have the expansion packs that I use, you can use anything you want to. Like, just use whatever you have. Um, but I am going, I think I'm going to be using the Ambitions windows and doors just because they're my favorite. Um, so, I already see the door that I'm going to use. So exciting. So, I'm going to use this lattice door. So, we click on it, and it's not going to be even, but hey, that's perfect. That's a okay, honey. See what's this one? Because whatever side is left open, I'm going to put a little light. So I think I'm going to use that. And I'm going to make all of the windows and doors white. So if you press the letter R on your keyboard and click on the item, it'll bring up the color wheel. And you can um, use this, this little minus sign to collapse all identical patterns. So it makes it just easier. Um, I think the difference between these two is one is like the frame of the door and the other one is the, the door itself. So if we click on this little drop down menu and go to miscellaneous, it'll just let you put it white. We're going to make it as white as it can. And then you just click and drag to the other one. And then click accept. Easy peasy. Okay. So, now, I am going to, let's see, where are the other windows at? These ones. The General Martin's Federal window. It's another Ambitions window. Like I said, I'm so sorry if, <laughs> if you don't have Ambitions. You can literally use any, like, window that you want. Like, you do you, girl. Just do your thing. So we're going to make this white as well to match the door. So press R on your keyboard. Collapse again. And then the drop down menu and make it white. And make it as white as you can. If you want to be technical, you can go in here and get the hex code. It's literally FFFFF. -F 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 -F. <laughs> and so we're going to hit accept again. And now... I want to copy this window and put it up here. So to copy things, just as they are, so you don't have to recolor it, you press E on your keyboard and click on the item and go up. Look at that. And I think over here, I want the skinny window that also came with ambitions. So um, I think I'm going to put this one. Do I actually want to put a window here? I think I've got, okay, I know I said I was going to put a light there, but I think I'm going to put a window here instead. So, like, just like before, we press R and go in here, collapse the patterns, go to miscellaneous, make it white, as white as you can, boom. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I hope I'm going slow, as slow as I need to. So if you press E on your keyboard, boom, boom, boom. Girl, look at that. 
And I think, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to put a window right here. So if we click on this, yes. Girl, look at that. So that window is base game and it's called the winner window. So that should fit up here. And now for a window over here, I'm pretty sure I had, I think it was the, wasn't that one, but this one. Hmm, that's too fancy for us. Hmm. We'll put this one out here. It has a pretty rose. It has a pretty flower bed in it. I think I'm going to do that. So that window is the Good Manners flower box. And just like with the other, and it's base game. So, whoopee. So press R again. Collapse all of the patterns. Go to miscellaneous and make it white. Boom, boom. Girl, look at us go. I wonder if we'll be able to fit another window up here. Nope, it, it's too short. What do you know about that? Okay, so we got that done. I also want to put a little um, uh, deck right here or a front porch. So if you click on, you can also do a, just a regular deck, but I don't like how the bottom looks because you can't change the bottom of it. So I'm just gonna click on foundation again. Sorry, my dog was chewing on my shoe again. <laughs> okay, so click on foundation, click on here, and I think we're just gonna go over by two. That's good enough for me. Um, all right, so let's get some siding on first and then we will do up the deck and then we will call it a day. So go into wall coverings. I already know which siding I'm gonna use. Shocker, it's gonna be from Ambitions. <laughs> um, I, I guess really like the like this kind of thing because you can change the color of the the trim so we're gonna pick that but you can the base game is literally like it's a little better to be honest because you don't have to change the color of it but it, they, it literally has some right there for you so i'm gonna click on this and click on r and this middle part is the shadow for the like the, the 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 crease shadow here, I'll show you. It makes the shadow a little better. So there we go, and this changes that. So I want to make the trim white. So this is the trim. We go to miscellaneous and make it white. And I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, I'm gonna keep it the wood, but I'm gonna change the color of it. Um, so, I'm going to make it like a pretty brown color and I'm going to make the shadowing a little more intense. How does that look? And so then, we, if you right click on the preset, you can just click and drag. And then right click on it and click and drag. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because this siding is going to be all over the rest of the house, but for this pop out, I'm going to put rock, if that makes any sense. So, I'm gonna click E, and then do that, and then over here, and over here, and then click E again, and copy this one. Do. Boop, boop. And then right there. Boop. And then E again. And then now I'm going to hit shift so it covers 
everything. looks a little uh, funky right now but I promise once we get the once we get everything else going here it'll look better all right so let's go into rock and stone and I think it was this one that I wanted oh that one looks even better I really like the rock and stuff that came with pets so I'm gonna use this stuff it's the Rustic stonework is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to use all of it on here. Beautiful. And then I'm actually going to put the rock on this on the front porch as well. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And then I think what I'm also going to do hmm. what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make these just to make it look a little cooler and different. I'm going to oh my gosh. Come on. All right. I'm going to make this part right here. I'm also going to make this part stone. Beautiful. All right. So, all righty. Beautiful. So, now we're going to make the roof pattern really pretty. If you go into roofs and go to roof patterns, I have a bunch of custom content ones, but I think. I have this one. I like using this one. But I actually have never used this one. I'm lying. <laughs> okay, so this one goes really pretty with the coloring. So in its base game, so you guys should be able to get this going in your game. It's just the asphalt shingle roof. All right, so we got that going. I think we have enough time to do a couple more things before I stop this video. So I'm going to put in some stairs and do the deck and stuff like that. So if you put stairs in right now, it'll because you have you should still have constrained floor elevation on. So we need to turn that off or else it'll look really funky. So go Control Shift C and do constrained floor elevation true so in so instead of saying false put true okay and now we're gonna take these base game stairs i'm not gonna say the whole name because girl no so we're gonna do that i'm gonna place it like that and i'm gonna make it white like everything else so press r and you know the drill by now collapse all the patterns make it white and then we're going to make the thing white over here as well. Boom. Whoops. There we go. All right. And now another thing that I really like to do, I like to use fencing for the front porch. And this game, this came with generations. So I'm going to make a strip like this. And I'm going to press R. And I'm going to make it white. What do you know? I'm so original, aren't I? Alright. Now we can just push E. And we can do that. And then press K to delete the thing. Bada boom, bada boom. And so I think what I'm going to do for the front porch. I think I'm going to make a little like pergola area for like really pretty flowers and I'm going to show you how to do that. But first I need to put some some wood on the on the porch here. So go to floors and ceilings. Go to wood. And I think 
I want to use this one. I think this is really pretty because it, it really goes with the, the color of the house. Or if you even want to go a little darker, but it doesn't really match as well as this one. So I'm going to use that one. It costs zero, so it's really cost efficient for this game. It's just the short, medium length planks with pegs. It's base game, so you guys should be able to get it. Alright, we are almost there. Um, the next thing we need to do, we need to put a column here. That way the grid shows up more, because we need to be able to access that. So we're going to put a, don't worry, that column's not going to stay there. We just need it really quick like. So if you go into fences again, you're going to see this little thing. The stream of con consciousness wall. It's base game. So you just make a strip of it like we did before with the fence. Press R. And then we're going to make this white. And then press that and then E. And now here comes the fun part. We start right here. Do this right here, just like that. And then we can close it off. And then you can even put little designs right here. Do whatever you want, girl. Alright. So it gives the little effect of like a pergola type thing. And so now we go into flowers and this is just one, this is like my, one of my favorite things to do. If you go to lazy daisies, you can make the, oh, I guess we need to turn move objects on. So control shift C again, move objects slash on. There we go. And now go back to lazy daisies and what we're going to do. We're going to make ourselves a little pergola thing. You can even put like splashes of different flowers in there to make it look make it look, you know, different, to make the dimensions look. And then you can even put something right there. What do you think? Should we put another layer of flowers in there? I think so. Hmm. Hmm. I like these. So we can probably put some of these here. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. What does that look like? I've actually. I've never made a full-blown garden on these things before. <laughs> this is a new one for me. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we can press K and delete. Come on. Delete that. And then we can get rid of this column. Alright. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm coming up close to the 20 minute mark on this video so I think the next part is going to be doing up the outside and doing the interior not decorating yet we're far from being able to decorate so I think the next part is going to be doing outside and the inside like getting the walls and stuff situated so if you guys like this series so far leave a you know a like and subscribe and all the all the things um but that's gonna be it for this part and i hope you guys stick around for the rest of this series and i will see you guys in the next one 
Bye, guys.